Welcome to I Love Stocks. Today we're going to talk about a little watch list for next week, a little post-market watch list, and I'm going to run through it real fast, as fast as I can. So let's get right to it. I've got a couple on here that I'm really liking. We had that big ACB. She was a big, big one last week, but let's first look at the SPY. I've got the chart set up with my pretty picture on the front with my two watch list. I've got my pot watch list. I think um, with help from Doobie in the room, there's going to be a pretty good little runner, I think, into Biden if he does uh, win the presidency. And then we've got a couple others I just want to throw in. I think we need to look at environmental stocks and health care. Those are the two sectors I'll be looking at and plus our regular Corona plays. Corona cases are picking up, but we're handling handling them a lot better right now. So that's that's good news on the good side. Let's go ahead and look at the SPY. I think the SPY is still bullish, but we always like to play the pullbacks. Had a nice little pullback uh, pre-market Friday. She ran up and hit resistance with a lower high, still keeping them higher lows in play. Setting up an ascending triangle breakout. We called her out in the room. She did finally break out. And now she's kind of consolidating here after hours. And we'll see what happens pre-market. If we do get a pullback, maybe a little scenario of right around the 347, 348 area for a strong buy. Your second support's right around the 349. And then, of course, that 350 if that hits, but that 3571 is going to be that first one. Resistance to break, it's going to be the 35114. We were calling that out in the room. We did break it pre market and after hours. So, I mean, in the close, we'll see what happens. That's a spy. ACB is next. We're going to put up the 20 day. You can see we've had a pretty, well, the 20 day run, you can see we've had a pretty nice little, little run. We've had almost a 50% retracement. From the high on the 20-day chart, which is right around $8, it's kind of consolidated right a little under 8. I have a 796 support plus a 751 for low scenario. Resistance to break right around 1149. I think we can go ahead and pull back to maybe about 883 and bounce right back up into place and keep the momentum going into next week. ACB, that's the pot territory. Same as Tilray. Tilray's had a real good run. We've pulled back about the same at 50% retracements right at my 7, 871 low support. So that's a good scenario on the TLRY for retracement back up to break resistance. Pass, I'd say, right around this 1118 area. I'm going to go ahead and put that in there because I like that between 11 and 1118. First, we've got to get past 10, get them new buyers to come in. Apple. Like an Apple a lot. We did call the pullback on it last week when we had our two hour session. We did break up into that channel again and she stopped at resistance level. I see this because I'll show you here on the on the yearly. We had like a little flag right here and we broke out of that flag last week. You can see here as I magnify it up. We did bust out of that flag. Good scenario right there for to continue up to try to break resistance of right around 121.32. If we can get up there, we can get up to the right around the 125 range. Pullback supports right around 116. If I like to see that hold, and we'll pull that up on the daily one minute right down here at 116.21 for a double bottom, and then kind of build a channel. That's Apple. Next one is CGC, another hot one that's been running. We're going to put this on the 20 day. Go ahead and stop right there. You see, we're going to go ahead and get that low support down here right around 1818. I think we can probably pull back to the maybe right around this 2236 area. That's where that previous high was that we had on Thursday or, or uh, Thursday morning. She did kind of pull back. So we got this little channel right in here we got to play with. No lower than $20. I hate to see it go any lower than 2046. And then try to complete this channel or maybe break a resistance right around this 20, uh, 2465 CGC. Low support, 2236 for your first buy to maybe get back up. 
If that doesn't hold, this 2150 will hold, and then you can play it from there. At CGC, always think of a pullback and then get momentum on these momentum plays. Baba, Baba looking good. We've had a couple real strong pullbacks on it last week, as you can see. She keeps, buyers keep coming back in. So anytime you get a pullback on Baba, it might be a good time to run it up to that 200 and exit your trade. So right now, support level's right around this 284, 285 area with maybe a pivot. Let me see if I got the right one up here. Let's go right around this 284.56 and you got one right in here. Snapshot right there and I like that right there. 293.79 I think should hold. If not, you'll get down here into this little area right in here. And it's kind of hard to see. Let's magnify it up a little bit. Here, we should get a better picture of it. Right there. 290. And resistance to break is going to be this gap right here. Right around 362. If you can get up there, you'll get up to the new newer highs, and that's right around the 305 area to maybe exit the trade right around the 307.83. That's Baba. Baba, yeah, Microsoft, Tesla. Microsoft's another good one. We're back up here to the double top at the 20 day. It's actually a triple top. We had an inverse head and shoulders on pre market on a Thursday, Friday. She bounced up, so we got a triple top. She might pull back, find support level right around this 217.81 area. If so, you'll start building the channel, and your hard resistance to break is going to be right around the 224.19 Microsoft. Tesla. Love Tesla. I think we're setting up again. She did pull back. Nice little buy entry down here. Anything under that 418, I said, was a concentrated buy especially when you get down to this 405 to 409 area. Very strong buy right down in there. Anything below that, I mean, this is a gift. So she's trying to find resistance. Let's pull up the three-month daily. Resistance on this one for right now is going to be right around the 460 area. And you got a pivot point in here that's going to be needing to break, and I'd say it's going to be right around that 436. We did close at 429.95. Let's go ahead and look at the uh, back at the 20 day spot right there. Then we got a resistance right there. This is it. 410 for a strong buy. We're right now in the pivot point of the channel. I was calling about 420 is where it kind of is the pivot point. And that's where we are. We're above that pivot point right now. So resistance to break, 136.63. And you can probably get to one, if you do break that 136.63, 445.39 with a strong buy down here at 410. Tesla. And I think that's about it. We got Tilray. We have on the pot watch list down here, I'm going with my volume leaders. And their top ones are ACB, Tilray. H-E-X-O, Cron, and A-P-H-A. -A. Those are my top five volume leaders. And we don't want to leave out CGC. That's a very popular one, too. So that is it for a little bit of the watch list for next week. I think a Biden win, the market will bounce up. If you like this video, please hit that subscribe button. I'll do a future update on the tickers that we did on this watch list today here. I also have Cat. I like Cat on here. I've got Netflix, I've got Amazon, Jamia, NVIDIA, Microsoft. I mean, we've talked about a lot of them right there. PLD in the bottom down here on my volume. But I, I like all these on this ticker, on this watch list. If you like, you can go ahead and stop, watch you write these down and follow the trades with me. Hit that like button. Always ring that bell for future updates. I love stocks.